voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. Alright, let me see. Just move this up. Hello, I am the Atheist Gamer, and today I'm going to respond to the same person who has made a petition to get rid of uh, GTA 5 in um, Target and Kmart. You know, that person, this bitch named Nicole. And, you know, if you know me, I'm a gamer, and I really, really am outraged that someone like this person would even consider the idea of banning a video game just because of what they don't like. I mean, it's incredibly stupid. Even the CEO's, um, I believe the CEO, um, came out and said that if you don't like a certain video game, then don't fucking buy it. Which makes fucking sense. Um, that being said, I'm just delaying. I'm going to, you know, do this in this sort of, uh, me just looking at this, um, this page and then just commenting on it. Because I usually prefer to make video responses towards, um, other videos and not blogs. But in this case, I will. Why a pension to have Grand Theft Auto 5 removed from Target? Let's just scroll down. Target Australia pulls Grand Theft Auto 5 from shelves after customers' feedback on violence. Grand Theft Auto 5 and the problem of banning violent video games in the media. Angry gamers pension Target to stop selling the Bible, but the, the plan backfire. Little known fact, um, there's over 55,000 signatures to ban the Bible from Target. But so far, I don't think Target has responded yet. Which is quite hypocritical, considering that um, the Bible contains lots and lots of horrible things, such as homophobia and um, treating women as nothing more as sex objects. You know, believe it or not, Grand Theft Auto V is only the tip of the iceberg compared to the Bible, because um, you know how it in Noah's flood. Everyone, including the children and the um, babies who do not know the difference between good and evil, at least not yet, have been drowned because they were also wicked. Yeah, that's a very loving God right there, but I digress. In Grand Theft Auto V, an R-rated video game that allows players to, to attack and kill women in the sex trade, ignoring the big fucking fat that you kill loads and loads of men hell you even torture a man to get information yeah you completely forgot about that but no 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 we need to focus on the female aspect this it's pretty much comes to shove that this person has never played grand theft auto 5 and therefore likes to judge things based on the the cover you know if a whole bunch of men get killed, then holy shit, it's not a big deal. But kill even one woman, then everyone loses their fucking mind. That's very fucking hypocritical. I would have been the character who gets left by the sidewalk, bleeding and unconscious, or hit with bats, run down, set a light, sc still screaming, and reverently murdered for game points. Or maybe just for pun. Um, you don't necessarily get points. There's no point system uh, in GTA 5. I was in the sex industry in the early 20s, but instead of the virtual world of GTA 5, the abuse I suffered while it was not as extreme as those in the game was terrifyingly real. No one deserves to get raped. I do not feel sorry that you did because you successfully ban a video game, but no one deserves to get raped. It has taken me almost 10 years to get my life back on track and to recover from the sexual violence and abuse I faced. I still live with flashbacks, nightmares, and crippling depression and anxiety. Last week, together with two women, I started a change.org petition requesting Target to pull GTA 5 from its shelves. The reason behind the campaign is simple. That game exists, which makes enjoyment out of the kind of abuse I live through in real life is sickening. Really? People are enjoying your pain? Oh my fucking god. Let me see if I'm reading this right. 
The reason behind the campaign is simple. The game exists, which makes enjoyment out of the kind of abuse I live through in real life. Okay, listen. It's a fucking video game. Okay? It's not like... I mean, there are plenty of people who lost, you know, their loved ones during violent acts. You know, murder, stealing, all this sort of shit. They lost loved ones. And they suffer from it. But at least, at the very least, they don't take it out on a fucking video game that is completely fictional because they know it is not real. It is not there to simply mock you. It is there for people to enjoy. You do not like it, do not buy it. For survivors of abuse, it adds insult to injury to think someone could get a thrill out of violence against women, even if it was a virtual world. It is a fucking virtual world. That if, <clears throat> if this was real life, then yes, this would be a problem, but this is a fucking fictional video game. Th this game right here is somehow a fucking reminder of you getting raped. It's unbelievable. In GTA 5's new person first, uh, first person player mode feels more realistic than ever. This includes a more realistic description of sex acts with women who are largely represented as prostitutes and the options that follow of being able to kill them with machete, guns, or bats to get their virtual money back. Making it all more disturbing was having a retailer shop at which sells and promote this kind of game. As reason as last week, Target was advertising Grand Theft Auto next to Peppa Pig. Oh, the fucking horror. This was being marketed as parents, parents buying Christmas toys. So? So fucking what? It's the parents who are buying the video games, not the children. It sent a terrifying message. This is a game that has ingredient misogyny and graphic violence against women, but not graphic violence to, towards men, you know. Because that doesn't exist. Apparently, you're a special fucking snowflake, aren't you? Phew. It breathes an acceptance of abuse in our world. No, it doesn't. Okay? No, it fucking doesn't. Okay, if it was true, then... That game would cause mass a massive explosion in crime. Abuse from which I've been trying desperate, desperately to recover. And by stalking this game, major retailers are lending their credibility to it. Once again, no. If you do not like the video game, you can simply just ignore it. You do not have the right to censor it just because of what you personally do not like. Okay? Despite the potential backlash, I couldn't stay silent about this. The fact that over 40,000 parents, customers, and advocates got behind our change.org, which, by the way, they are all fucking dumbasses, pensions showed we weren't the only ones. The response to our campaign exceeded our wallet expectation and forced Target to listen to their customers. Since then, gamers have launched vicious and violent attacks on myself and other women who dare to speak up. We had threats of rape and torture to mutilate us and set us on fire. Well, that's what you get for pissing the gaming culture off. I mean, this is, this is what happens when you piss people off. You make them angry. By censoring a video game, you basically poke the hornet's nest. You made them fucking angry. And now you're blaming the hornets for attacking you because you're this special snowflake that needs to recover from this fucking rape. Grow some fucking balls, you piece of shit. One gamer has threatened to locate us and publicize where we live. Another has superimposed the face of a friend into a body of a murder woman lying in blood in the scene of a game. I'm going on GTA 5 right now and pretend every ugly cunt is you tweeted another hater to her. Ironically, these abuser claims this game does not particulate violence and yet it continues to send women horrifying threats online. 
two those two things are completely fucking irrelevant these are a, this is a false equivalence okay it's not the game that makes them violent it's you who are who are uh, who are preventing these people from enjoying something that they enjoy you piece of filth Gamers also argue that games like GTA 5 have no impact on real life violence, despite research per published earlier this year. Which, you know, I looked at the link. I looked at it. Um, let me see if I can find it. And it's this one right here. It says video games do affect social outcomes. It doesn't even contain that much information. It just says whether video game affects social behavior is a topic of debate. Many argue that aggression and helping are affecting by video game play, where the stance is disrupted by others. The, pres the present research provides a metal analytic test of the idea that, depending on their content, video games do affect social outcomes. Data from 90. This is just complete bullshit because there are multiple studies that show that this is com entirely fucking false. Multiple. You know, it's this this been proven by you know um, multiple people. I will. Um, there was a guy on the internet that I found who. Um, basically come up with theories on why video games reduce violence actually it's it's um i'm gonna find a video put in a link in the description sadly many women don't need studies to tell us that we know because we lived it bullshit we know how violence can start with playful remarks and turn into dangerous controlling behavior we've seen the violence implicitly imp Plinkity condone in these games play out in real life. The thrill and pleasure that gamers get off violence against women in GTA 5 makes the world less safe. Not because every gamer turns into an abuser, but because it breeds a casual acceptance of violence against women. <sighs> what the fuck is this shit? Okay, if that was true then every man, almost every man who plays GTA 5 would be okay if a woman was to be beaten up and, you know, just, it's, it's just terrible to see a woman get beat up. I play GTA 5. Look at me. I, 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 I play the game. And I still think that it's not okay to beat the shit out of a woman. I mean, what sort of shit is this? <sighs> the thrill and pleasure that gamers get off eyes against women in GTA 5 makes... Well, wait, I think... Sorry, I, I already said that. Stripping GTA 5 from the shelves of retails like Target and Kmart won't change the culture overnight. It's one step among many, like the recent takedown Julia Bank campaign. That will help dismantle the culture of violence against women in years to come. It may not be a popular debate, but it's what Australia desperately needs. No, Australia doesn't need a debate on whether or not GTA 5 promotes violence against women. What we need is a debate on whether or not feminism is basically a poison to society. Which, no, actually it already is. What we need is to find a way to... Get rid of all the fe feminists off this planet. If we need to gather all the feminists into a fucking rocket ship and send them back to Venus where they belong, then I say go for it. Because feminists are ruining everything that they have touched. Okay, only a feminist would come up with this stupid ideology. It's people like... Uh, what's her name again? Nicole? That's right. Am I, am I right? Nicole? Yeah, Nicole. Who's basically poisoning video games. 
I mean, they're trying to control everything in our fucking lives. Quite frankly, it, it, you, you, I, I do not feel sorry that you were raped. Sure, you don't deserve it, but I do not feel sorry. That's all I have to say for now. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace, the game out.